What's going on guys? Thanks for checking out another Eastern Current video. Up here today with my buddy, I keep saying that, buddy Bud Bishop. Bud Bishop uh, on the Pamlico Sound. It is March 3rd, 4th, 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 4th. Um, it's cold. Uh, we found some clean water. Bud's been uh, doing a lot of striper fishing lately, but today we're going to see if we can get on some speckled trout, a little wintertime speckled trout bite, and uh, see what we can do. But yeah, man, thanks for having us up here. Yeah, man, absolutely. Um, you want to share a little bit about kind of how we're going to target these fish today? Yeah, yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to find some some deeper water than, than we're actually in right now. About five, six foot deep. We're just going to slow fish some hard baits. Heck yeah. yeah yesterday you were like, I wouldn't call this fishing artificial. It's more <laughs> bottom fishing with artificials. It's slow. So it's pretty much dead sticking. I'm, I'm, I'm very ADD, very fast. So it takes a lot for me to focus and slow down. But we're going to get after it, see if we can't catch a couple fish and put together a little video for y'all. Yeah, Thanks for checking it. it out. You fish them on their way back down pretty hard too. You kind of get it with a striper, but it's a little different. That's a pretty fish. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Blood putting us on them. I mean, he just trolling motor right over this fish. It show it pays off when you're with the guy that knows what to throw, exactly how to work it, and where the fish live. So I mean, we haven't been fishing five minutes, and he just stomped this thing. I'm fishing it really slow, five, eight second pauses on it. But uh, I mean, historically, a trout's always going to eat that bait on the pause. It might not necessarily mean you feel that bite then. You might feel it when you go to twitch it. But as that, these mirror lures are kind of slowly falling. That's when you, God, you got it good. When you feel that bite. Come here, Cody, I got you. Yeah. You want to throw some in the live or just let them go? Your call. Yeah, I love it. I don't, I don't want to keep it. I don't know if you want any for like a. That's a stud. Grew up on the. Outer banks. I've always had the you good the meat mentality, yeah. you know. So it's been very tough for me to get used to it. Especially trout and flounder. Let him go. They're so pretty, man. So pretty. Oh, come here. Head shaking on the way out. Yes, sir. Not a bad one to start the day with. Right there. <laughs> on a long pause. Me to cast and twitch for you, and then I can hand you the rod. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Beginner's luck, right here. It only takes two. Nice little speck of trout. I mean, that's on a long pause. That water, what's the water temperature right now? 53. 53, chilly. So these fish are, they're eating it, but they're a little lethargic. So letting that bait really, that's the surface temp. Really letting it sit in front of their face and tempting them with it. 
It's just like if I'm on a diet and, you know, the longer that a cheeseburger sits on the table in front of me, the longer, the better chance I'm going to grab it. Yeah. That was so dumb. I don't know why I said that. That was a more aggressive bite. It must have been a little guy or something. Catch the little stripers in here. Will you ever catch shad in areas like this? Yeah. The green. The green machine. Oh, work, brother. You'll work your way up. Yeah. Black on top, orange on the bottom, same thing. Yeah. Just the green. That's a little, and the green's in the side of the body a little bit, right? It's like, it's pretty much an 808, just a little green on it. Yeah, that's right. It's like, I think they're called hot olive broken glass. Which one's hot olive broken glass? I think that's what it's called. It's so hard to keep up with all the names. Did you grow up in Plymouth as well? I actually grew up in Mania. In Mania, too. You get friends with, what's his name, that old TV celebrity? Um, Andy Griffith? <laughs> no. My mom used to do uh, some real estate with her. All right, so we got in here to the first spot this morning and caught some fish right off the bat. And it sounded like what you were saying that yesterday when you came in here and, and fished, that you kind of caught them from where we started a back. little bit further back. Yeah. Um, and so you're talking a little bit about, kind of share what you think might, might be the trend. We caught a couple fish where we started, but you're thinking maybe they pushed out a little further? Yeah. It looks like the water's warmed up about two degrees. I think they just moved out some. Yeah. We had, a, I mean, we had a couple bites right where we started. Had some nice fish right there, so we're gonna kind of edge back into that zone and then start working our way back out. And it's yeah. just um, fish on the surface. I don't know if that was a gar rolling or what. Um, you know, it, it helps like Bud and I. And obviously, I'm not on the water every day here, but you pick up on these little trends like that when you're on the water day after day and looking at the water temperature. But, right. but uh, you know, being flexible and not being sucked into like where you think they are. Like yeah. if they're not there, don't keep beating it up. Move until you find them. We got That's a nice right. warm day. So we're gonna slide out here and fish a little bit closer to the mouth of this creek and see if we can't get get back into them. Caught a couple of pilings back there though. We did, we caught two of them. Caught two nice pilings, so stay tuned. Oh, <laughs> stay tuned, buddy. <laughs> His goal is to break the world record on the fly, but he goes out there and fishes those reefs with a big drummer, starting to push in, and he sight fishes the crap on them from his tower. How the world do you sight catch with Toby? And I just saw it. I look at his boat, he got like a stretch 40 years later. Uh, okay. Alright, so we got a Missed about 15 of them. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. There's our. There. I couldn't get my bait out of there. That's gonna be a mess. Dude, that was worth fishing for right there. That's a monster. That's a freaking monster. I thought mine was decent. Look at this mess I made. I started dragging him. Oh, he was hit my hand so fast he had it, he took off with it. Really? That's a freaking slob, dude. 
What do we say? We need two more? <laughs> but now we gotta make one more cast. <laughs> oh man, let's get yours out. They freaking choked that thing. That's not a little one. Yeah, that's a titanium. Two freaking studs right here. Bud got a monster. But let's get a little video of him on the bow. We'll hold him. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah. I know he has. That's where he's at right now. Mine too. Worked hard for him. We stuck it out. They said we needed two more fish. Freaking doubled up right there at the end. Yeah, man, that's that's a nice one, man. I'm going to try to let... Well, I think, uh, unfortunately, we had a tangle up in the net. I think both of these are toast, but... Man, that was killer. Yeah, man. Maybe a few more casts. God, I wanna, I'll, I'm going to try to release this one. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah, see, what, see if I can get this big one to come on. Today ended up being pretty epic. It's one of those kind of finishes that you you hope for on a tough day. We got on, a, I think we kind of got on the tail end of a good bite this morning. Yep, I agree. We drove up from Wilmington and got here. Obviously, we couldn't leave at two in the morning. We could have, but we're just not that hardcore. And got up here, uh, the sublunar tables kind of showed that the major bite was earlier in the morning, kind of right at sunrise. We caught a couple fish. First fish was like 20 inches. A couple fish throughout the day and then moved around a little bit. but. Mm -hmm. Bud knows this water real well, and we were able to, to hit a bunch of spots and, and, and kind of camped at a spot at the end of the day and, and missed a lot of fish. Yeah, we did. We, we, missed, missed, a lot. we missed a lot of fish, and, and we're like, five more casts, five more casts. And, and just short striking it. They were short striking it. Yeah, so, I mean, what, what were some of the baits that we were throwing today? A lot of the MR-17s. Okay. MR-17s, the twitch and wrap. Twitch and wrap, the two twitch and wrap. Twitch and wrap, and uh, a little, you know, I got my last fish on the 3DS minnow, the Ozuri 3DS minnow. In a variety of colors, there was really no yeah. like true color that shined today. But um, finished it, finished it, not finished it, finished it with a two really nice fish. Bud got a citation. We did. So that was awesome. Uh, but yeah, man, that was a that was yeah, a blast. That's great. Um, I'm gonna link all of Bud's information in the uh, description here on YouTube. But go check out his his guide service. Come up here and fish them on the Pamlico. He does fishes all over, catches everything you can catch that has a tail that swims around with a mouth. That's right. Here, so. Um, uh, if you did enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel, uh, press that like button, leave any comments, I'll get back to you, and we'll see you in the next one. Later.